Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a relaxing deep clean with me. So get your to-do list out of those things that you need to deep clean in your house and get taken care of before the holidays, whether that be the pantry or your cabinets and cupboards like mine. Also sharing a couple of really yummy recipes in today's video and a gluten-free cookie recipe. So stay tuned for all of the inspiration and motivation in today's video. All right guys, welcome back. Like I said, today we're doing a relaxing deep clean with me and of course I'm starting out with lighting my candles in the house to set the scene, set the mood. I love lighting all the candles in the house. Yes, I have a million of them and yes, I still have a million left that I can take out of storage and light when these are done. I just love candles and I love the mood that they set and I love the scents in the house. It makes it feel so cozy and warm, especially when it's starting to get super cold outside. So that is what I'm starting out my day with today and wanted to include a couple of recipes for you guys right away in the video. First off, I want to tell you that my crock pot pork chop recipe is the easiest and is the yummiest. All you're going to do, whether they be thin or thicker pork chops, put them on low in the crock pot all day, season them with like an all around seasoning. I just did like a general steak seasoning and then I top them off with two cans of cream of chicken. And then you can serve this with a side of rice, whether it be just Uncle Ben's super quick and easy rice. Um, when I was working out of the like out of the office and I was leaving my house every single day, this was a go-to because it was so quick and easy. Um, I just did white rice on the side of mine today. But you guys saw that I had reorganized my junk drawer and so I just went through the junk drawer really quick to make sure that everything was in its like certain baskets just so that things are easy to find. I like to tidy it up once in a while, at least once a month to go through that get rid of any like extra mail and garbage that's just sitting in there. And then I'm going through the kids' toys. I also recently organized the kids' toys into these stair light bins and I absolutely love it. I have everything labeled and I will have a link up here for you guys if you wanted to see how I organize all the kids' toys. I wanted to get everything nice and organized before Christmas season hits and the kids get an influx of all new toys. So this way everything is put away easy to find and the kids play with their toys way more now that they're able to find them. So getting into the rest of today's video, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the relaxing music and get all of the motivation and inspiration from today's cleaning video. Get that deep cleaning off of your to-do list before the holidays come. It feels so good to have those things clean and organized and just ready to go for the chaos that is coming this holiday season. On the road with a couple of tunes and a car for two 
countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand So pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get one life. I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. So in this portion of the video, I am organizing out our pantry cabinet. I don't have a full size pantry, but I do have this corner cabinet that we, when we built the house, we like swapped out the Lazy Susan to have shelves that go all the way back. So we had some sort of pantry storage in the house. And in this part of the video, it's so funny. I actually like empty out some pinto beans into one of my like clear containers and Riker later on in the video empties it out and I included it because it's just real mom life, but it was totally 
totally chaotic into this video and I even though it's like relaxing with relaxing music it is totally chaos all around me but that is a typical day in our house but wanted to touch on the pantry really quick I plan to do a pantry stock up so I do this twice a year I do it in the spring and I do it right around the holidays because I use a lot of pantry items when it comes to hosting holidays so I will have a pantry stock up coming here in the next couple of weeks for you guys showing you some of my go-to's that I keep in the house um, whether it be healthy or not healthy uh, we try to stay as gluten-free as possible and try to stay on an anti-inflammatory diet um, we have been keto in the past but as of right now we're just doing anti-inflammatory gluten-free so I will be including that pantry stock up here in a couple of weeks like I said a lot of it will come from Walmart and Costco those are my go-to's when I get my pantry stock up and a little bit of Aldi as well
it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight So I'm showing you guys our venison jerky. My husband just went for the Minnesota deer hunting opener and he ended up getting a nice big buck, thank goodness, because I am like obsessed with jerky. So I will be sharing a couple of jerky recipes with you guys in a couple of videos. This was kind of an experimental recipe, so I didn't include that today. Um, my secret ingredient is jalapeno juice when it comes to any kind of jerky um, or even any kind of marinade in general when it comes to like beef or venison because it is so good. Um, so anyways, stay tuned for a couple of jerky recipes in the near future because I will be making a lot of jerky and snack sticks here in the, in the very near future. Um, now getting into the organizing of my silverware drawer, I had a couple of leftover um, organizational bins that I had gotten from, I believe it was the Dollar Tree. I got it from the Dollar Store for sure. Um, I think it was the Dollar Tree. And our knives, we just have so many knives and serveware pieces and I needed a place for those. And now that I got the steak knives, into their own like little space. It is so much more organized and the serveware as well. Um, it just looks so neat. It just looks so nice and organized. Everything is easy to find, easy to grab. Like I said, with the holidays coming up, I definitely want to make sure that everything is clean and easily accessible and organized, whether it be me or possibly like my mom or dad who's looking for something. It's just there and clean and organized and I love it so much. It makes my heart so happy to organize. It's like one of my like favorite hobbies. I don't know why I love going to the Dollar Tree and looking for organizational items, but it is one of my most, most favorites. Now, getting into cleaning my cabinets, I get a lot of questions as to how often I need to clean my cabinets, my cupboards, um, because they are white. And honestly, I probably do this like once a month, or if I'm just like cleaning on the fly, sometimes if something is super dirty, I will, I will clean it off. But I will really deep clean the cabinets about once a month, like on the outside. And I just use my Thieves Blend, which I will do a cup of vinegar in there, fill the rest with hot water, and then I add about 25 drops of Nature's Shield, which is the Now Essentials brand version of Thieves Oil. I get a lot of questions on this as well. I will have the Now brand um, essential oil link down below for you guys. It's one of my go-tos even for diffusing and getting rid of the yuck in the air. Um, it has some antimicrobial properties and antiviral properties. So I just like to diffuse it, especially during cold and flu season. And speaking of cold and flu season I will be sharing a lot of deep clean cold and flu season videos for you guys over the next couple of months and how I try to keep the ache out of the house 
Another tip I want to give you guys, if you have white cabinets, you need to be careful with this, but if I have just like surface level stains on the cupboards themselves, I will take a magic eraser to them. There have been many times where the kids have taken crayon or pen or marker to the white cabinets and magic erasers are my saving grace. I swear we keep those guys in business, but you need to be careful because it can buff away that nice protective coat on the cabinets. So you need to be very careful with it, but you can use it um, very carefully. So that is one of my go-tos for getting those deeper stains out of the cupboards. Um, and if you guys have any tips or tricks as to how to get the dirt out of the corners, please let me know. I have used, like I've tried like wrapping a towel with a butter knife. I've tried all the things and I have like the shaker style um, cabinets in my kitchen and I just cannot get all the dirt out of the corners. And also look at me being super handy and tightening up the cabinets. These guys come loose all the time. So I will just grab my handy dandy Phillips screwdriver and just get them nice and tight again. Um, Riker loves to pull on the cabinets. He has pulled off most of our baby proof little handles, like the locks on there. He has yanked hard enough so that they just come right off because they just have like little stickies instead of screw ons because I didn't want to screw things directly into my cabinet doors. But anyway, um, that is why my cabinets come loose is because Riker likes to pull on them. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this relaxing clean with me, deep cleaning and getting all of the motivation to get your house deep cleaned as well. About to leave, already packed. I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand so here I am making gluten-free Melly's cookies. I absolutely love them. I've talked about them over on Instagram before, um, but a lot of the recipes just call for nut butter, butter, eggs, um, and this one was so good. It had dried cherries and dark chocolate in there, and they were just like a really gooey, like cinnamony. Oh, they were so, so good. And like I said, we try to be as gluten-free as possible. So I was really, really happy that these were gluten-free and I didn't sacrifice any of the taste. So I will have Melly's cookies linked down below for you guys as well to check them out. And a lot of the recipes come from like family recipes and I just love, love their Instagram page and I'm always drooling. Even though I'm not a huge sweets person, I cannot turn down one of these cookies. They're so good. So I am going to leave it on that note as I am dishing up dinner. Like I said, I just do the pork chops with rice and like green beans or corn or peas. Super, super easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this relaxing deep clean with me. And I hope I gave you all of the motivation that you needed to get your deep cleaning done in your house. Like I said, before the holiday chaos hits, it feels so good to have a clean and neat and organized home. So I will see you guys on Friday for another really fun video. Stay tuned because it is going to be a part three to my Christmas decorate with me for 2020. Okay, bye guys.